This week on the Journal Editorial Report, as President Obama struggles to deal with disorder on the border, a look at how we got here and Washington's response so far. Plus, Israel steps up its offensive as troops mobilize and tanks mass near the Gaza border. Are they preparing to take on Hamas once and for all? And it's shaping up to be a bloody summer in two of America's biggest cities. We'll look at what's behind the shooting spike in New York and Chicago. Are folks more interested in politics or are they more interested in solving the problem? If they're interested in solving the problem, then this can be solved. If the preference is for politics, then it won't be solved. Welcome to the Journal Editorial Report. I'm Paul Gigo. That was President Obama in Dallas this week, attempting once again to frame the debate over immigration and pointing the finger at Republicans for failing to act. Under fire for his decision not to visit the Texas border during a three-day fundraising swing through the state, the president is asking Congress for $3.7 billion in emergency spending to help deal with the influx of tens of thousands of unaccompanied children from Central America, a situation that has developed into a political and humanitarian crisis for the administration. Joining the panel this week, Wall Street Journal editorial board member Dorothy Rabinowitz and columnists Kim Strassel and Mary Anastasia O'Grady. So Mary, uh, you followed this issue for years, migration from the Americas to the United States. What is behind this ch influx of children? Well, I think, Paul, what you have is a combination of factors, both push and pull factors. So from Central America, you have lots of crime and violence. Right. And that's well documented. General Kelly wrote a piece for the Military Times this week saying that the effect of the war on drugs in Central America has created a, a, a chaos, really, and a breakdown of institutions in Central America. What so are the pull pe factors? People want to get away from that. Right. And the pull factors, I think, are, first of all, most important important is a an asylum uh, opportunity that uh, children have because of a law passed in 2008 during the Bush administration right. bipartisan um, that says that children who arrive in this country and claim that they are here that they need asylum are in, entitled this to was, a hearing right and that hearing can take up to two years and, and so they know that if they get here they can uh, stay for some period of time while they await their If hearing. they're from Central America, Mexico, children from Mexico and, Mex and children from Canada have to be sent back. And this is be a law that was attempting to stop human trafficking. It was attempting to give children who right. are on the run a chance. And the fact that they're Central American children, I think, is really come um, complicating the situation because they cannot be sent back according to U.S. law. Now, if Congress wants to change that law, that's fine. But under the law, and Republicans say that they believe in the rule of law, these children have the right to a hearing. And unfortunately, because the courts are so backed up, they, that can take up to two But a lot of their parents also are here for economic reasons, are they not? I mean, the parents, for example, some of the parents are sending for their children to come uh, to join them here or join their aunts and uncles or other people who are already here because they've come here for economic reasons. Right. I mean, what I was trying to explain is that the crime and the violence are right. one of the factors, but the other factor is that they know that if they get here, they are probably going to be able to stay with their families for up to two years, and in those circumstances, they have better economic opportunities, and they are safer, and they escape the gangs. All right, uh, Dorothy, would you agree with some of those who suspect, who claim that maybe the president's wanted this influx over the border because maybe this would help get immigration reform passed? Uh, well, yes, and uh, I suspect he uh, wanted it for a number of other political reasons uh, as a thrust against the Republicans. But I mean, I, maybe making the Republicans look uncompassionate indeed, or something? Indeed, this has uh, been the great stick he's used against them. And uh, the I think there is a certain amount, not entirely, of myth-making about the causes of these children's influx, uh, one of them being the uh, great and terrible violence that's taking place. Violence has been taking place in these disordered societies forever. So you put more emphasis on the pull factors, the Absolutely. promise of being able to the stay promise. here in I mean, the United and, States. And, and you have to think, I mean, th these are heartbreaking sites. There's no question about it. Uh, but these children uh, largely are pawns. You, if you can imagine parents sending these babies over these incredibly dangerous treks, 
uh, for the purpose of escaping the violence and danger of their communities, you have to raise questions about the motive of sending these people. I will say, Dorothy, I, th I disagree with you on whether the president was w wanted to see this, because if he did, this was the dumbest strategy for getting immigration reform passed. This has set back immigration yes. reform for years, I think. So, Kim, how well do you think the president is handling this? Well, look, this has led to, actually, I agree with you, very awkward politics, not just for him, but for other sides. His bigger issue, quite aside from the complaints that he didn't go down for a visit while he was fundraising in Texas, this is a guy whose left has already been beating him up for what they view are too many deportations already. And yet his response to this has had to be in some ways that he's going to get tougher on this and deport these children. So that it's awkward for them. Meanwhile, Republicans who spent their years saying the only problem is border security, that's kind of blown a hole in that argument. Because as Mary said, I mean, people are not coming up and, and sneaking across the border. These children are coming being collected down there because under the law they're entitled to a hearing. And so what this all gets back to in the end is a failure, as you mentioned, of immigration reform. And, and both sides sort of bear equal guilt for not having done more in ways that would actually fix this problem rather than just trying to tread water and keep up with it. Do you think the President, Dorothy, should have gone to the border and, uh, and, uh, and it looked like he was inspecting this and, 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 and on, on top of the issue? Yes, the answer is. However, I don't think the president feels quite like the president he was before that. And this was an expansion of his uh, so sue me attitude uh, towards public uh, relations. This is the same person who went to hold Governor Christie's hand after after the flood. And it's Hurricane Sandy. And, yes, I mean, who took, who took the trouble to do that, who suddenly can't move from a billiard playing excursion. Because you think that this is awkward politics for him, as Kim says? or It's or... awkward, and I also think it's a kind of helpless, uh, so I, I actually think it's a kind of psychological breakdown of a sort, a kind of resistance to the, to the role of a president, and it's saying, I don't have good approval in, in the ratings. Here's some more. I don't have to have a portrait of my compassion. You better know who I am. All right, Dorothy Rabinowitz, thank you very much.